working group was charged with using evidence to an unprecedented degree. Evidence about the true demands of college and careers, and evidence about what high-performing countries are doing in mathematics. In terms of college and careers, when you look at the evidence, you see that we have a remediation problem. Students, even students who are meeting expectations in high school, often go on to the next level and find that they're not ready. So we have a mismatch of expectations between K-12 and post-secondary. Often in, in, in K-12, students, uh, teachers feel that unless they're, they're covering everything, their students won't be prepared to move on. But what, when you look at the data on what post-secondary instructors want, what they actually want is greater mastery of fewer things, greater mastery of the central matters and the ability to apply them to a wide range of problems. When you look in the evidence base for the standards, when you look at the National Math Panel Report, when you look at the NRC Report, Mathematics Learning in Early Childhood, when you look at the TIM study of international math performance, the two principles that emerge are focus and coherence. And these are the two major design principles in the standards. Focus means spending more time on fewer things at any given grade, principally on number and operations in early grades. This is to give teachers more time to teach those things to mastery and give students a firm foundation on which to build. And the point is that math is not like a homogeneous fluid that can be ladled into bowls and served to students. It has a logical structure with lots of connections, uh, some of them intricate. At every level, there are intricate, difficult, and necessary things that are prerequisites for the next level's intricate, difficult, and necessary things. The standards follow widespread research and recommendations by focusing on arithmetic in the early grades. And discussions of focus can sometimes sound like conversations about what students aren't doing, but it's important to talk about what focus is meant to enable students to do. When students come out of grades five and six fluent in computation, with good conceptual understanding of the four basic operations and what their meanings are, what their mathematical properties are, and what uses uh, they can be put to, they're in a great position to generalize that understanding as they begin to do algebra, and they have a skill set that they can take with them for the rest of their lives into college, work in majors outside of mathematics, as well as careers.